All right, welcome to problem 1.8 of John Townsend's um, Modern Approach to Quantum Mechanics. Um, so I'm also gonna stop reading the problem statement, so uh, just to avoid copyright stuff. So I'm gonna just tell you what problems we're doing, and I'm also gonna tell you guys the book. <laughs> so I assume that if you guys are watching this video, you have the book. Um, I'm using the second edition, by the way. So which is very rough, it's very messed up, but it's holding together. Um, but we're on problem 1.8, and this is on page 27. So let's just jump right into it. <clears throat> um, let me just real quick at least say what the problem's asking us for, though. I'm not gonna read the problem statement. Uh, let me just grab my marker, uh, word for word, but we have a, a state of the particle here. Um, and basically, it wants us to find um, the expectation value of the z component of spin for this state and the uncertainty of the z component of spin for this state. Um, and yeah, so let us jump right into it. So given this state here, so we have i over root 3 times plus z plus uh, square root of 2 over 3, um, times minus z. Now, if we want to find the expectation value, um, we're going to need to find the probabilities of um, finding plus, uh, you know, measuring plus z and the probability of measuring minus z. Um, so we need to calculate these inner products here. So, you know, the, the probability is going to be the, the magnitude squared um, of, hang on, let me just think about this real quick. So, let me just double check that this is correct. Yes, okay. I was looking at this and I, I completely, I was like, I was looking at this and I was like, that's, I was, I, I was completely missing the fact that I had the probability here. I was like, this inner product is not one third, this inner product is not two thirds, that's the, that's the probability, but I thought I messed something up, but I just kind of misread my own line there. So, to find the probabilities, we need to find these inner products. So, this means mathematically, like, given this state psi, what is the probability that we met? This is what is the probability amplitude that we measure um, the state sine and the state plus z, which is when you do that inner product, you get i over root 3. This essentially is just picking out um, a way to pick out the components of a vector. So, when you do this, it's to say, hey, give me the plus z component of this vector. And this is saying, give me the minus z component of this vector. So the component, the plus z component is i over root 3, and the minus z component is square root of 2 over 3, which I have misread there. Okay, so then you just take the magnitude squared of each of those, and that will give you the probability that you measure plus z and the probability that you measure minus z. So we have one third here and two thirds there just doing the magnitude and squaring each one. So this one has an i, so when you take the uh, magnitude of a complex number, you, you conjugate the other, um, when, you, when you square, you conjugate the other, so um, that's how we get the one third. So the expectation value is just the probability of an outcome times its al the outcome value, and it's just a sum of each, each of those probabilities and the outcomes. So we have uh, p sub plus c times h bar over 2, and then plus p sub minus z times minus h bar over 2. So plugging in one third here, we get h bar over 6, and then um, this turns into a minus sign because of the minus here, minus h bar over 2. So we have a minus, and then you put in two thirds, you get 2 h bar over 6. So just doing the math, h bar over 6 minus 2 h bar over 6 is minus h bar over 6. Or writing this in terms of h bar over 2s, it's minus one third h bar over 2. So then that gives us the expectation value. Now, if you want to measure the uncertainty, we need to have the expectation value of the spin component squared and the squared, the square of the expectation value of the spin component. So we already have that. So this one is actually easy. We just square this. So that would be one ninth times h bar over two squared. To find this one though, you square the, the, you keep the probabilities values the same, but you square the uh, the actual outcome values. So 
This will be one third times h bar over two squared plus two thirds times minus h bar over two all squared. And so doing the math here, we're gonna get h bar squared over 12, because that's a four times three. Um, this minus sign goes away, so we have plus, you get two h bar squared over 12. And so adding them together, you get three h bar squared over 12 or h bar squared over four. Or in terms of h bar over two, it's just h bar over two whole squared. So then to do the uncertainty, um, you take the square root of um, this minus this. So plugging that into the square root, um, this value is the h bar over two whole squared, and then minus the one ninth uh, here. So minus one ninth h bar over two whole squared. So in the inside the square root, we get you get like nine ninths minus one ninth of that. So you get eight ninths h bar over two squared, and eight ninths can be pulled out of the square root. So you will not pull out of the square root, but you can simplify this to be square root of eight over three h bar over two, and the h bar over two is pulled out of the square root. And square root of eight is just two root two. Um, so this becomes two root two over three times h bar over two. And so that is the uncertainty value. All right, that is problem 1.8. It's pretty simple. Um, nothing that we haven't done before. So just more and more practice on, on calculating these uh, expectation values and the uncertainties and just being familiar with the mathematics here uh, of broadcast notation. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys on problem 1.9.